Well, 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 if it isn't Porcupine back again with some PvP quickie. Sorry, that's the best name I could come up with for the series, but it matches the point and the point precisely. So, what's today's special guest, you might ask? Well, if you haven't actually read the title yet of the video, is this. The Marine Pulse Rifle Legendary Class, and it is at a shockingly low 353 light level, uh, because I don't have one of these mods, and I want to save this in case, you know, this gun doesn't turn out to be as good as it looks. So, uh, what's so special about the Marine? It is a rank 3 reward from the Valor Crucible grinding. Uh, the Marine has several interesting perks, so we have Hitmark IS, Red Dot 2 Mower, and also Rifle Scope SSF. Now, scopes on every single gun, in, in my opinion at least, they are more or less subjective. So it's a personal preference. However, I do find the Red Dot 2 a little bit more my style. Uh, so I'm, I feel more comfortable aiming with that scope. I also have Steady Rounds and Accurized Rounds. So Steady Rounds trades off a little bit of range and you gain more stability, obviously. So I opt in for Accurized Rounds because I want the extra range. Now, for me, the stability isn't that important because of two reasons. Number one, Headseeker. Body shots landed with this weapon increases the precision damage for a short time, which means you will have to hit the body if you want to utilize this weapon's perk. Now, it doesn't have to be all the time because there are, it's situational, so uh, sometimes you just want to aim for the headshot. It's, it will still do great damage, however, if you want to utilize the perk, then stability may not be the priority that you need to focus on. Secondly, I have two mods equipped that reduces the recoil for kinetic weapons. So I have the chest armor that reduces the recoil, and I also have the cloak that reduces the recoil. So in theory, my trade-off for range should be more or less minute. <laughs> In theory, okay? Uh, I haven't actually tried this gun in PvP yet, so I'm hoping that I'm gonna hop into quick play now and see what's what. So here we go. Let's do some quick play. Hey, we found a match. Perfect. Let's go. Oh, dang it. <sighs> okay, fine. Okay, to clarify, this is an excellent map for pulse rifles, okay? However, I've got the Control. exotic catalyst for Jade Rabbit. So this is also an excellent map for Scout Rifle, and I feel like I'm missing out. So that's why I said there. However, and hold them we're gonna to focus. We're gonna focus on trying to review this particular Pulse Rifle, so here we go. Let's try Let's try and find some engagement here. I know for a fact that usually there are enemies that come out from this side, so I'm gonna see what I can find some. Okay, so maybe not. Things seem to be a little bit quiet on that side, so let's go over and we will Oh, and it's a graviton lands again. I can tell. Oh, get wrecked, baby! Oh crap! Yes, graviton lands again. Yeah, I was trying to dodge roll, but I completely, uh, I completely screwed that up there. Trying to dodge back to the right hand side. Here we go. Do we have a. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. I just killed Naruto, 597. I feel bad. It's alright though. It's Naruto. Oh, get wrecked! Okay. This is not good. Just let me recover some of my health and then. Oh, excellent. My teammates just killed it. You captured awesome. Zone C. You have Zolder All right, let's go get that heavy. Oh my goodness! Did you see how fast that died? Did you see it? Oh no! <laughs> oh no way! Oh, nice. Okay, that's teamwork there. Power play. Enemy has your zone. All right, let's. Hang on, who's he? Zone A captured. Oh dear! Oh, <gasps> that skip grenade! Did you see that? 
how much health it took away. That's stupid. Wow, okay, that's not good. Okay, when they're doing team shots, when they're doing team shots, you do not go out. That's pro tip. I don't care how much you think, how heroic you think you'd be, the only thing that would be is stupid. Okay, got someone over there taking... Oh, get wrecked! That's a good punch there. I'm being the one punch man. You captured zone B. Zone advantage is Oh your oh my goodness, this pulse rifle! Ridiculous! Okay, Naruto is a little bit too far away, so I can't really kill that guy yet, but uh, I'm trying to see whether I can get some Oh dear. That's the sound of grenades. Oh boy. Oh dear. Ah no, I'm dead. I didn't see Naruto there. He probably need to use some strange ninjutsu. Can't believe I'm actually fighting Naruto. This is awesome. <laughs> you captured zone C. Zone advantage. Oh no way. He got the No, 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 no. Oh my. Okay, I am not going out there. Right, let's let's be cool for a second, yeah? Let's be cool for a second. We don't have to push it all the way, we're doing control. What we want is calm, long distance engaging to review this pulse rifle. Come on, porcupine, let's play it properly. Something just hit me, I don't know what. Zone A lost. Oh that that pulse rifle! That pulse rifle kill is so real. Oh, it's stupid Graviton lands again. It's all right, we got the power ammo, so it's fine. Okay, can we outgun the Graviton lands? Okay, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead before I even tried, all right? That's how good this pulse rifle is. Let's go. Let's do some control, yo. <laughs> We're not playing the OBJ. Okay, no one's here. Let's go back. Zone B lost. Okay, we lost zone B, so there must be someone there, right? Let's try to get some engaging engagement here. Is there zone anything? A captured. You have zone advantage. Perfect. I'm seeing some stuff. Oh dear. The lead is yours. Okay, we got the lead back again. Oh god, no, not the Oh, the Ottoman's Anvil. That's a really decent auto rifle, lead, actually. It's from the Iron Banner. So if you guys are going to grind for the Iron Banner for... Where the... Oh, okay, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. No. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, so close. That is so close. Don't see lost. So far from medium to long distance, this pulse rifle feels really good, and I think, you I think, you have it feels advantage. about the same as Swift Ride uh, when it comes to firing. However, it just feels a little tad more quicker for some reason. I don't know why. You gave the lead. Oh my goodness! Okay, the Arch Rider thing, you, you win some, you lose some. Alright, let's see whether... Let's see whether Skip will do anything for me. Nice, okay. Zone B lost. Ah, dang it. Come on. Oh, get wrecked, baby. All right, anyone else? Oh, two in a row. Oh, that did. All right, here we go. Come 
Come on, team shot. Let's do this. A fire team <gasps> that oh, I didn't get that kill. That wasn't my kill. Oh no! Yes! We're finally winning. Let's do this. We can do this. Okay, definitely, seconds. definitely a bad choice on that particular distance. I think medium distance is where this is best. Victory I need to get away because they're using Graviton Lands. When they're using Graviton Lands, you have to make sure you're not in a group because once you explode, everyone dies. That's like how ridiculous it is. Excellent stuff. Uh, well, first of all, it's a positive KD. Second of all, it's above two, which means it's actually decent and we weren't... We weren't abandoning the objective either, so I was playing some capture whenever I could. So there you go. On Distant Shore, the Pulse Rifle is definitely a very good choice. So what about the next map? Now we're going to fly away. Let's see what we get this time, yeah? Zone C captured. You captured zone okay, there's a sniper on the other side. Advantage. I can just about see it, so I'm not going to go that way. Try and flank him. Zone C lost. Okay, excellent. Got that kill. Will I be able to get another? Someone's going to be aiming for that. Zone C captured. Zone advantage is yours. Oh, nice. That pulse rifle. This pulse rifle kill is really good. Right, let me go get that zone. Nice. Okay, so this map is strangely open and also closed at the same time. Um, if you haven't played this map before, this map is the new DLC uh, map from Warmind. So from, oh dear, just got to kill that. Zone B lost. Okay, let's see whether we can chase him. Or oh, is he dead? I think he's dead. Oh dear. Oh. I need a hunter like you with the red jacks. Oh dear. He's lost, but the battle is still close. Is he gonna go is he gonna back out? Is he gonna back away? Yes he is. Oh and he did. He did good. Okay, so I've got some very reliable teammates here. I think I can afford to push a little bit harder. Let's go. Together as one. I love it. Five minutes. Plenty of time to fight. Oh boy. Nice. Five minutes. So let's give it a try. Oh, I got. Okay. I got a kill, but I got killed by Fissa Havoc. So. Uh, okay, pro tip always try to assess the environment after you pop your super and don't just rush in like that. Like me. Like I did. Okay. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> okay, they're getting B, so let's try to flank them from behind. On B. Oh, that... That died quick there. Okay, so that's You captured zone C. You have advantage. Okay, did a capture, which is good. Now let's see whether we can flank it on the other side. Come on. Oh. Alright. That should be good enough. Okay, the part of playing as a team is that you shouldn't aim to get a kill all the time. You should only You should aim to get yours. kills when you can. However, there are times when it's going to be extremely unsafe to get a kill. So if you can damage, 
think if you can actually damage just like uh, Three like that, minutes. that's actually good for the rest of the team. Where is everybody? Okay, let's try to get B. Is yours. Take it. Oh, okay. Zone C lost. Okay. Strength in numbers, Guardian. Excellent. You Oh, this advanced. is intense. Oh dear, he did good. I'm not sure what he was trying to do. I think he was trying to use the Fist of Havoc. One minute left. Alright, let's try to get this. I think we're in pretty good position. I think we'll win this match, however, just to make sure it's really doubly C. sure. You have zone advantage. Come on, I need to try out this pulse rifle. Let's do this. Got it. Not bad, not bad. Come on, what else we have here? Let's go. Zone B lost. All right, let's try to capture B. Victory is all I ask. Good. <laughs> that guy's <is> dancing. <laughs> oh man. Your victory okay, gives so... the city hope, guardians. Wow. Uh okay. That's that's good news, everybody. Um, I, honestly, I, I don't know what happened there. I probably just got mega lucky, but uh, that's really good results. Although I should probably state this now that the efficiency is not KD, uh, nor is it strictly KDA. So efficiency is a completely different thing. But efficiency definitely does not reflect how good a weapon is. So. Uh, everyone has their own weapon, and from what I've tested so far, this thing... Uh, again, all weapons are subjected to which maps you're playing, and for the two maps I played, I was able to use this gun, and it's definitely... Uh, the range reflects exactly what is it is. It's a medium to maybe long range and definitely not a close range weapon, so it's very specific. However, when you're engaging at the right distance, this thing is very lethal. With the stability, uh, even reduced to about half, with two recoil reduction mod, which is inside the chest armor and also the cloak armor, this thing is still recoiling very vertically which means you will be able to activate the Headseeker perk. So is it worth the grind on the Valor rank to rank 3? Um, I would say yes. I would say yes. Now, mainly because I have yet to see another Pulse Rifle that is kinetic and also has a Headseeker perk. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I'll be more than happy to uh, know that there is another Pulse Rifle out there that's kinetic that also has Headseeker. However, the only other one I have at the, in the vault so far is this one, which is a Trials exclusive weapon. So if you compare the stats between the Marine and the Relentless, you can see that the Marine is slightly more well-balanced, all-rounded around all areas, and it handles perfectly well. So, how many spikes would I give it? Uh, in case you don't know yet, I'm giving out spikes instead of points, so that's the porcupine way, obviously. <laughs> so, I would give it... 7 spikes out of 10. Now, um, the main reason is because the range, uh, for me, that range is a very specific type of range. Uh, when you try to engage with something that's uh, significantly more lethal, for instance, the Graviton lands that has the range and the stability, you always... You're, you're almost going to get outgunned if you're too far away. So uh, as far as pulses goes, this one is actually sitting right in the middle, which makes it slightly less flexible. However, 
if you equip it with something else that complements it, so Traveler's Judgment, uh, actually just sidearms, any sidearms, that's Omelon is good to go, uh, or you can equip an auto rifle that is well balanced on both range and uh, possibly impact, so Uriel's Gift and also there's another one that, which I don't have on me. Uh, it's the new PvE Pulse Rifle which is also quite good, very stable, so that's also a good choice just to make sure that you're covering your behind. Uh, as for heavy, here, yeah. <laughs> anything you want, the world is your oyster, alright? <laughs> so alright, that's it. If I come across any other interesting weapons, I'll do another PvP quickie just for you guys, for your pleasure. Uh, did I come out wrong? think it did. <laughs> Alright, so I'll see you in the next video. You guys take care.